Greetings and welcome back to my channel. So I'm up at the house today, Boxing Day, the 26th of December. Um, we are going to take a quick look at the Chrysler 300C. Uh, so this is her, him. Um, I picked this up after I sold the Tesla, and it's a low mileage machine, 2012 model with 44,000 kilometres on it. Now the issue it's got, I'll get in here and try and make it work, is um, the parking sensors. So. In terms of uh, parking sensors, it's got an audible warning, but this is an array of LEDs to give you the um, proximity. And um, if we look in the rear view mirror, uh, the back of the roof there, um, up high, it's also got the same array. Now, um, what's happening is when you put the car on, So the parking module seems to um, it seems to be working, but when you go to use it, we're just getting nothing. So I'm trying to go forwards now, and um, it should be detecting the wall right there, but it's not. And uh, I'm not going to take you through the demo of. Um, what happens when you go in reverse but it's a very very similar thing so I'll turn it off um, no before I turn it off go to the menus here um, it's under key recall memory rain sensing automatic lamps on dilate hang tilt the mirrors Park Assist system. You can't turn it on from here. Now, um, there's a couple of things with this that can be wrong. So I'll just turn this off and we'll talk you through it. Yeah, okay, so I have had it on the OBD2 scanner and it has come up with a um, Park Assist module error. Now, Park Assist module sits in the boot, the trunk. And um, there's another component that can be failed. So I'm going to take a look at both. I'm going to unplug the Park, um, park Assist module, obviously show you where it is, uh, and then uh, take a uh, remedial action against a reed switch. I'll talk, you, talk to you about the reed switch now. So because this car is fitted with a factory towing harness, um, inside the plug, the trailer hitch plug, there is a reed switch. So there's a little magnet in there. You can see um, probably some shiny glue in there. That was actually loose and I have re-glued that. But I've since determined that the reed switch is the, um, uh, the, the white and gray terminals there. So what the, what the intended fix there is, I'm going to bridge across those two and eliminate the switch altogether. So when you think about it, what the switch does is when you, when you um, open the plug and connect your trailer wiring, uh, you obviously don't want the park assist at the rear to um, be beeping when you're trying to uh, back the trailer on. Um, nor do you want it whenever you're reversing to be just going off. So it just turns the park assist off. Um, so obviously if there's an issue with that switch, being um, open, the park assist won't work. So uh, we're going to um, we're going to bridge that. At the same time, reset the park assist module by unplugging it from the CAN bus, and uh, that should be enough for it to um, to reinitialize and hopefully maintain a connection. But we'll see. So uh, I'll take you up top and show you what you need to do to get to this park sensor. 
So we'll take you up top and show you what we need to do to get to this Park Assist module. So the Park Assist module sits uh, behind the uh, inner lining of the boot here. Uh, first step is to get the, uh, the trunk mat or boot mat out, which is fairly straightforward. Bit of, vel bit of Velcro at that end. I'm going to lift that out and um, take you to the next step. All right, next step. There's a uh, this unscrews, and we've got two Christmas trees. They're a type of fastener. Um, you can see one here at the top, and where's the next one down here? So there's only two of those. We just need to get this inner lining away. Okay, so that's a Christmas tree. That's what I'm referring to. Um, you can buy, and I have done. Um, like 300 various different sized Christmas trees off the uh, jungle website. Um, useful if you lose these, just have a whole bag of them to get what you need. Okay, so you just want to take the, the lining out a little bit, and that's the, um, the Park Assist module in there. i um, not going to take the entire lining out. All I want to do is just unplug the harness from it here. There's three three plugs, we'll just un unhook those. Uh, while I'm in here, let's get an um, eyeball on the part number there, because if this fix doesn't work, I'll just, um, I'll just order a new one of those. All right, I'll put you down and do that. Okay, back down under. So, um, in order to bridge this, uh, this switch out, uh, you can see there's um, these screws need to be undone. There's enough room inside there to uh, to term, put a terminal um, on each side with a thin gauge wire, and uh, so that's the next step. Hello, Jake. What's going on? What's going on, mate? Okay, okay, let's go. See ya. Back down at the uh, workshop. Realised I didn't have the right gauge wire, but fortunately I keep stuff like this. I don't know why, but it's a very thin gauge wire that we can use. All right, this is what I think I'm going to need. Um, thin gauge wire of about that length. And um, it's going to be too, too fiddly to uh, show it going in, but you can get the picture. I'll show you when I'm done. Okay, so, okay, so that's the finished product. You can see we've um, we've literally just bypassed the switch from here to here in those two terminals. So now it's just a matter of putting it all back together and uh, seeing if that gives us a result after we plug that uh, Park Assist module back in. one-handed okay. Right. okay with um, a level of confidence I'm going to put uh, the whole boot back together because um, I'm going to use the car anyway and if this doesn't fix it it's going to take a while for the um, the new park assist to come. So, let me get these Christmas trees back in. Up there is the next one, I think. Yeah, like that. Oh. And down there. All right boot board back in and I'll take you on board all right we're running up again and uh, I can't turn park assist on and there's a switch here as well it turns it off conceivably it'll turn it back on um, 
I think that's pretty much this journey over for now. Um, I will order a new park assist module. That's uh, effectively ruled out the only mode of failure that I know of, which is that reed switch at the back. So for those of you who've got park assist issues, do try that fix with the reed switch first before you replace your module. Okay, I'm getting out of here. Thanks for watching.